as well as for longer action in progress and an action about to take place in the near future. Let's start with the formulation. Subject plus B form of the verb that is is M R plus first form of the verb plus ing. With the singular subject I, we use am. With he, she, it, we use is. We can also write the contraction form in the continuous stance that is am or he is. With the plural subjects you, we, they, we write are or you are. Let's formulate some sentences. Assertive sentence. Subject plus B form of the verb that is am here with I. Verb is sing plus ing. Am singing. Similarly, he is playing. To make negative sentence, we simply add not between the first form of the verb and the main verb. Similarly, am not singing, he is not playing. To make interrogative form or the question form, we write the B form of the verb in the beginning of the sentence, then subject plus verb plus ing. That is, am I singing? Question mark. Is he playing along with the question mark? Let's talk about the identification. There are certain added of time that are used in this tense. What are they? Presently, now, today, at this time, at present, this moment, this year, etc. That help in easy identification of this tense. Okay, if I ask you, what are you doing now? What will be the answer? You are studying. And what am I doing? I am teaching. Okay. See the uses. The present continuous tense denotes an action taking place at the time of speaking. It means that happening right now. Such as, it is raining now. Someone is knocking at the door. Next, it is used to denote an action in progress but not necessarily at the time of speaking. That is not happening right now but it is taking place at present. Such as, these days I am revising.